we're going to be doing a gift in a jar today. It's a grill seasoning mix. I call it Grill Master Seasoning. It's a recipe that I came up with kind of by trial and error, changing up a couple of other recipes that I had seen before. And this is a, a grill seasoning that will go pretty well on just about anything you can throw on the grill all summer long. It will go great on steak, burgers, chicken, veggies, anything you want to put it on. It's kind of a barbecue-y flavored seasoning. So we're going to be doing that today in a layered gift in a jar mix. Now when you use that, it's going to have to be mixed together, but we're going to layer it just for presentation. This would be great to give as a Father's Day gift if the man on your Father's Day list likes to grill a lot. My husband is the grill master at our house, so I'll be giving this to him. We've also been doing a lot of campfire cooking lately since we got a fire pit. If not Father's Day, you could give this as a gift for the host or hostess if you're invited to a cookout this summer, or it would be great just to make to have at home. Okay, so, in our seasoning, the first thing we're going to add is brown sugar. We've got a third of a cup of brown sugar. I'm using the dark brown sugar. I prefer that with the more molasses in it, but it's up to you. Whatever you want to put in yours. And just put that in as our first layer. I think that made a pretty good layer actually. It was still shaped like the measuring cup. And don't worry about the recipe. I'll put all the ingredients on the screen at the end. I'll have the bottom layer at the bottom of the list and so forth so that you'll know exactly how to put that together. Okay, after our one-third cup of brown sugar, we've got a third of a cup of chili powder. I think I'm going to use a funnel for the chili powder. I might should have done that for the sugar. Okay, then just kind of level out your layer. The next layer is one quarter cup of salt. You can use whatever salt you like in this. You can use kosher salt, sea salt, just regular table salt. We like the pink Himalayan salt, so I'm going to be using that. And a quarter a cup of salt goes in. And layer that. Next is one eighth of a cup of black pepper. Level it out again. I think I can do without the funnel from here on. Next is two tablespoons of ground cumin. Again, level that out, tap it down a little bit. Next, two tablespoons of ground mustard. One tablespoon of garlic powder. One 
one tablespoon of paprika. One tablespoon of onion powder. One teaspoon of cayenne. <clears throat> and then the last thing is one eighth of a cup of Italian seasoning. See the layers I think that's really cute you can layer them in any order that you want to to give it a better look if you want I may have changed a couple of things I may have put it in a little bit different of an order now that I see how it came together but it still looks really nice you can see the layers and then you just put your mason jar lid on there and I printed a little label you can just print out whatever you want to call yours, or you can use the same name, whatever you want to do. And I put instructions on there that they need to mix it thoroughly. And then use to season everything. And that's really true. It's really good on everything. Okay, I'm going to put some red gingham ribbon around it just for decoration. kind of tie that in a knot then we can maybe go for a bow Then we'll attach the label. I'm just going to try to come in under the ribbon. Tie that right around the center. Now just come in and trim your ribbons up. Now that is ready to give. You could give it just like that or a really neat trick that you can do is if you want to go ahead and put a shaker top on there rather than the cannon jar lid, you can use the lid from store-bought grated Parmesan cheese. Just save that and wash it up after you're done. And those Parmesan cheese lids fit a regular size mason jar perfectly. So you could just put that on there and it's already in a shaker and ready for the grill. I hope you all liked it. Let me know what you think. Happy grilling. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.